States of America and to the Republic for what it stands, a nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Telegraph Road. The proposal is in accordance with the Southfield Comprehensive. 
comprehensive master plan noting technology corridor sub area for this parcel, which includes secondary regional mixed uses, on-site stormwater detention, and the petitioner is to implement the recommendations made by the Southfield Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security.
done. And I'd like to close this portion. And uh, we bring it back to the commission here. Uh, Commissioner Bill. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, in reference to the uh, second, second condition that's recommended, <coughs> recommendation uh, for the waivers uh, from the Zoning Board of Appeals, uh, is this currently existing, the uh, parking in the 60 foot right of way? Um, actually, yes, it does currently exist. One of the reasons why staff uh, thought that it would be best to take this forward to the ZBA because we did not have a special use on this plan, on this site plan before. Plus, we're talking about tearing down an existing building and putting up a brand new one. But again, there is parking already uh, within the, that particular 60 foot right of way, so it's really no different than what it currently is. We just felt to be uh, the right thing to do to take it to the ZBA to at least make it legal. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Uh, and also the, the 32 feet of front yard landscaping, is that currently existing? Also? Yes, it does. Uh, or at least the, uh, the lack of it in that 32 feet. Correct. How, how much is existing there? We're waiving 32 feet. Uh, how much is left? That would be 28 feet. Okay, you still have 28 feet of landscaping. Yeah. There's actually a very considerable amount of landscaping on that property along Nine Mile Road, um, including the sidewalk you're talking about, 28 foot. Uh, distance from the property line into the site. So there's a considerable amount of landscaping already there. Okay. Uh, I believe there's only one other thing I wanted to get on the record, and that's uh, my concern about uh, the exit onto Nine Mile Road. Uh, I, I strongly feel that there should be a no left hand turn there. Uh, it, it, uh, as you can see in the drawing, that was, or at least in the aerial photograph that was provided, the traffic is backed up on, on nine mile, eastbound nine mile, and somebody trying to make a left hand turn coming out of there. Uh, it's really dangerous. And so I would encourage that uh, in the site plan we keep process that that be uh, a strong consideration. Thank you. We will make sure that that's a note to the city planner during the administrative site plan review. That's all I have. Mr. Smith. I like what you're doing. Uh, the corner. <coughs> Thank you. 
Pharmacy on behalf of the owner, Dr. Kamal Gupta, to permit a pharmacy and prescription center use within an existing medical office building in the OS Office Service Zoning District. The property is located on the southeast corner of Southfield Road in Mount Vernon at 23832 Southfield Road in Section 25 of the City. The subject property, as well as the properties to the west across Southfield Road, to the east and to the south are zoned OS Office Service. The properties to the north across Mount Vernon are zoned OS Office Service and ERO Education Research Office. With regard to the existing land uses, the subject property is developed with an existing medical office building. The property to the north across Mount Vernon is developed with the Love and Care Animal Hospital and a parking lot for the Century Office Plaza. The property to the west across Southfield Road is developed with the Pollock Academic Center. The property to the south is developed with the International Gospel Deliverance Church. The property to the east is developed with the driveway to the church and single family residential uses farther east fronting Mount Vernon. The site contains 1.87 acres of land. There is 200 feet of frontage on Southfield Road and a depth of 260 feet. The special use request is to permit a pharmacy and prescription center within an existing medical office building in the OS Office Service Zoning District. The proposed site plan indicates the establishment of a 1,283 gross square foot pharmacy within the existing medical office building at 23832 Southfield Road. The parking required for the development is 30 spaces with 48 provided on site. The square footage of landscaping provided exceeds the requirements of the zoning ordinance. The elevations are to remain the same. The issues considered by the planning department during the review of the special use were the special use general standards and conditions of the OS Office Service Zoning District. The proposal is in accordance with the Southfield Comprehensive Master Plan noting local mixed use for this parcel and the petitioner is to implement the recommendations made by the Southfield Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security. Mr. Chairman, the planning department recommends favorable consideration of the special use review request of Cadillo Pharmacy on behalf of the owner, Dr. Gupta, to permit a pharmacy and prescription center when located in or near medical office, medical clinic, hospital, convalescent, or nursing home or similar facilities in the OS Office Service Zoning District. This request is made to facilitate the operation of a 1,283 gross square foot pharmacy within the existing medical office building at 23832 Southfield Road with the following conditions. Approval of SP 520C by the city planner for the proposed amendment to the existing site plan. Site plan approval, including any attached landscape plan, does not constitute landscape plan approval. Final detailed landscape plan must be submitted to the planning department and be approved prior to the issuance of any building permit. Petitioners provide a sprinkler system for all landscape areas to encourage preservation of plant material. Petitioners execute a perpetual maintenance agreement for the landscape and parking areas both on site and in the right of way, which includes maintenance of any stormwater detention system. Petitioners to implement the recommendations made by the Southfield Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security. Approval of the site plan and or building elevations represented herein does not constitute nor guarantee approval for signage. Separate approval and sign permits must be obtained from the building department for any proposed signs. All special land uses, land use standards of Article 9, Section 5.104 of the Zoning Ordinance be satisfied. This recommendation is made for the reasons as noted in this report. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'd like to ask the petitioner to step forward. State your name and address for the record. My name is Tom Lutta. I'm the owner of the Genesis property. Can you give us a brief overview of your plans? We're going to open up a pharmacy within that existing medical facility. The anterior part, the front part of the building is going to be a budget care. And as shown on the video there, it shows the back part of the building will be a pharmacy. And we're hoping that it's going to provide some service for the patients that come to the facility itself. We're going to 
your name and address for the record.
in the it's right in chapter forty five. You can now uh, step back up to the microphone. Well, that's, that means if, if if I may, we're required by state law. We follow state law with regard to our notice requirements through the uh through the zoning act.
on the building, yet there is no indication that a building permit has been pulled. Um, I personally don't know if one has been pulled for that property. Uh, the couple times that I've been there, I've not seen activity there. Um, but I guess the, the owner of the building would be the one you know, best able to answer do you have building permits or not. And you do have a permit? You know, I, I don't personally have not reviewed any permits. I mean, we have builders that are doing the construction there, and they are supposed to be dealing with the city, and I'm sure they're, they're doing the local work. I would find it hard to believe that they'll stop something where the city says, don't do it, or check that out. But you haven't seen any posting, uh, permits posted around the property at all? Place. I've even seen one in a liquor store in Detroit before, so <laughs> uh, kind of a hot spot. 
out, but I guess that's due to our aging population. Uh, uh, you do own a pharmacy right now in Lincoln Village, correct? Yes. Okay. So I guess your experience in the industry and you know what you're doing, so I would expect this business to do very well in that location. Uh, I did have a concern when I saw the dumpster, it's like you guys probably got a head start on the construction, but then again, because you have a dumpster doesn't mean you're doing anything illegal. A lot of times they can be used for debris removal or you know, landscaping. Uh, but hopefully you do have proper permits and if you do you need to get them posted properly to make sure you follow the guidelines of the city of Southfield we can have some major problems with your project. Commissioner Bell? If, if I could to follow up on that statement, I would ask that the, that the, that the city follow up with the building department to ensure that everything is being done uh, with building permits and, and within our uh, regulations. Uh, your hours operation, can you tell us that one more time? Uh, yeah. What the pharmacy? Uh, 96, 100, 5, 800, 90. Okay, do you expect uh, any expansion in the future? That the moment, the only thing I wanted to say is that there is the urgent care in the anterior part, the front uh, side uh, facing the south of the road. Mm -hmm. It used to be an ice area. So that area where the urgent care is, they are also doing some construction. And they're taking all the, took all the carpets out and did something on the inside. So I don't know if that's the dumpsters you're talking about. I have no idea about that. If I get, again, if I may, the chair, staff has been directed to follow up with the building department on uh, what, re re what has been happening within the building, what requires building permits, and if there has been activity going on, keep in mind that if you don't have permits, that that is actually a legal act. Okay, thank you.
with the establishment of a cross gym within an existing building. The property is located on the east side of Telegraph Road, just north of West Nine Mile Road at 23080 Telegraph Road in Section 28 of the city. The subject property as well as the properties to the north, to the west across Telegraph Road, and to the south are zoned I-1 Industrial. The properties to the east are zoned R-1 Single Family Residential. With regard to the existing land uses, the subject property is developed with white reproduction. The property to the north is developed with the Rental Professionals Building. The property to the west across Telegraph Road is developed with the Bank of America Building and the Lakeside Car Rental Facility. The property to the south is developed with the White Castle Restaurant. The properties to the east are developed with single-family homes fronting Bush Street. The site contains 0.67 acres of land. There's 146 feet of frontage on Telegraph Road and a depth of 200 feet. The special use request is to permit a non-industrial use or use not specifically related to manufacturing within the I-1 Industrial Zoning District. The proposed site plan indicates the establishment of a 7,956 gross square foot cross gym in the existing building located at 23080 Telegraph Road. The parking required for the development is 31 spaces, with 31 provided on site, 29 spaces plus 2 for a bike rack credit. The square footage of landscaping provided is less than the requirements of the zoning ordinance. However, this is a legal non-conforming situation. The elevations are to remain the same. Issues considered by the Planning Department during the review of the special use were the special use general standards and conditions of the I-1 Industrial Zoning District. The proposal is in accordance with the Southfield Comprehensive Master Plan noting technology corridor sub-area use for this parcel. The petitioner is to implement the recommendations made by the Southfield Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security. Mr. Chairman, the Planning Department recommends favorable consideration of GP 1233, special use request of Amanda Stewart on behalf of the owner of TEG Associates to permit a non-industrial use or use not specifically related to manufacturing in the I-1 Industrial Zoning District. This request is made to facilitate the establishment of a 7,956 gross square foot front gym in the existing office building located at 23080 Telegraph Road with the following conditions. Approval of TE 758C by the City Planner for the proposed amendment to the existing site plan. The site plan approval including any attached landscape plan does not constitute landscape plan approval. Final detailed landscape plan must be submitted to the Planning Department and be approved prior to the issuance of any building permits. Petitioner is to provide a sprinkler system for all landscape areas to encourage preservation of plan material. Petitioner is to execute a perpetual maintenance agreement for the landscaped and parking areas both on the site and in the right of way which includes maintenance of any stormwater detention system. Petitioner is to implement the recommendations made by the South Hill Police Department's Crime Prevention Bureau regarding site security. Approval of this site plan and or building elevations represented herein do not constitute nor guarantee approval for signage. Separate approval and sign permits must be obtained from the Building Department for any proposed sign. All special land use standards of Article 20, Section 5.185 I'm sorry, 5.185 of the Zoning Ordinance be satisfied. If I may, within your packets there is a site plan which also includes an elevation. That was something that was mentioned at last week's meeting. The Planning Commission had a desire to see the elevation from the front and that at least gives you some idea as to what they'd like to propose at least from a signage standpoint. That concludes my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll ask the Petitioner to please step forward. Take your name and address for the record. Good evening. Troy Shantos, 2701 Cambridge Court Drive, Auburn Hills, 48326. What we're proposing is a prompt jump. For the past 30 years the building has been used for either a mercantile or a business type of use. And I believe that this is a similar 
regard to Royal Oaks uh, non-motorized transportation plan, uh, we were sent a copy of the plan and asked to respond, or at least made comment to it. Uh, this particular letter that Terry did send uh, was with regard to uh, his review of that plan and then some suggestions that he has made uh, with regard to it. Uh, just wanted to make sure that, that you knew that we did uh, do a review of that plan and you did have some comment. I appreciate, uh, if I could, through the chair, uh, I, I appreciate getting a copy of this. Uh, uh, I, I know my understanding is that on all master plans and so forth that, that uh, surrounding communities are supposed to share this information with both the, with the planning commission and, of course, the city planner. And it's, it's nice to actually get some feedback that, uh, on that. Thank you. Do you have any miscellaneous business? Uh, nope, I have nothing else for you this evening. Thank you, Commissioners. Yeah, if I mean, in a, in a 